Welcome back. So let's start out with your two favorites. So this is a, a mold for those um, brackets or braces that um, hold the main landing gear into place. And as you can see, it's had the lightweight uh, fiberglass laid down there. And that was done uh, yesterday, Monday. And here's the other one. So again, this is another one of the braces there. Or it makes up two different parts. So that one's had the lightweight down. And uh, Devin and Zach um, did that with uh, Jeff's help. Got that done uh, yesterday uh, afternoon. So those ones are getting close to having those molds finished now. And here's that center console or center stack uh, mold that was the one that was split in two. And as you can see, it's basically being bolted back together now and, and pretty much prepped. So that one's ready to actually lay up that part now as well. And as you can see, there's the three different bolts holding the flanges together. So that one finally done. And here's the main spar and I just wanted to show you that the bolt holes had been drilled there for attaching the wing and also the alignment hole for uh, the aft bulkhead and those will actually be enlarged out to I believe 5 8 And back on the engine I was having a little bit of trouble aligning the uh, engine to where the, the um, belt drive needed to be and I figured out the reason why was because these um, bushings or these uh, engine mounts that we got, the Corvette mounts, are supposed to be two and three quarter inch high and then it turns out they're 2.95 inches high, so 0.2 inches high and that was driving the engine too high. So anyway, I had to slot out there as you saw um, initially in, in the um, frame there about 0.2 of an inch and we're going to actually just weld in a plate there and as you can see it lines up nicely now. So of course after making that adjustment I had to readjust um, the engine mount on the one side where I had basically set it all up and same on this side but you see now I've got the four pipes in place there and also with the, a mocked up mount I'm waiting on steel to arrive tomorrow so I can cut out the steel for that and uh, also these braces here so you can see you've got um, two braces on either side for those uh, flat plates in order to reinforce them and I've just cut out templates out of sort of this foam board that we have and I'll use those to cut the steel and there you can see kind of how that lives in there and that will support that so that will all be cut out of steel uh, tomorrow and then be ready to uh, tack weld that into place with the TIG and then we'll uh, send it off to Brit so he can uh, weld the whole thing up for us and here's Zach just doing some fill on this uh, last of the upper wing skins and just basically just filling some little pinholes there and where the seam is or the join is between the two um, different uh, surfaces of the wing, the strake and then the outer wing and here you can see Jeff's uh, in the process of laying up the firewall. So he's got the first uh, layers down there of carbon and he's put the core in place already. And there's the hard points in there where the engine mount uh, bolts up to it. So there's four of those and you see just basically putting some carbon, extra carbon over those to reinforce uh, those spots. So anyway, there's not, nothing difficult about laying that one. He's actually going to do it in two parts. So those little uh, inserts along the sides there where the sort of baggage compartment is. He's going to lay those up tomorrow. Um, anyway, so that's coming along. And here's Devin and uh, Jeff laying out the plastic bag there for this uh, the firewall mold or part I should say. And you can see he's got you know the breather fabric and all that sort of stuff's in there already. And Chris and Roberto were in again this evening and so they were tasked with laying uh, down the heavy layers on those two different molds that um, Zach and Devon had been working on yesterday. So here you can see they're just laying down the heavy on the flange of uh, the first one there. And here they're finishing up the last layer there on the center section of that one. So that one is basically a mold again for these two different brackets that um, attach to the uh, rear pressure bulkhead and they help support um, the main gear, um, both the leg and also the retraction mechanism. And finally, here's Jeff. Uh, he's got that uh, firewall um, part there all bagged up and under vacuum. So, uh, like I said, uh, tomorrow he'll be just laying in those little um, indentation sections there that where I've got the camera there right now in there. Be laying that in tomorrow just as a separate thing, just because, you know, a little bit difficult to try and lay them up at the same time because they're so sort of in there. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week, and thanks again for watching.